Hey, what is up, my real fam? It's Queen de Bay, and today I'm gonna be talking about shoes, which I've never done on my channel. Um, I wouldn't consider myself a sneakerhead, first off. I know there's probably people who are gonna be like, you know what I mean, like. I don't know everything there is to know about shoes. I don't really know like terms, if there's specific things I'm supposed to say. I'm kind of just like a random girl doing a talk about like my opinion on shoes. I get like the dummies version of talking about shoes and like the basic things you need to know. Sneakerheads and stuff, whatever, probably gonna be like pretty triggered by this video and I'm probably gonna say something wrong, but I thought it'd be interesting to talk about like my experience with these shoes. And as you can tell by the title, it is about the NMD XR1s the duck camo, specifically the pink duck camo one. Ignore the dye right here, I'll get into that and I will talk about that in this video. But these are the shoes, I got them in a size 10. And I'll talk about where I got them, how much I paid for them, comfortability, um, all that stuff in this video. So if you're interested in hearing about these shoes, cause I'm literally in love with these so much, like I love them so much. If you wanna hear about them, stay tuned and I guess we'll just like, get into it. Okay, so of course starting off with the basic things, like I said, these are the NMD XR1's duck camo. They came in like a duck camo pack that was released, I think in like late November, I could be wrong. Some information might be off, but if I'm wrong, I'll like leave words down there of where things that are actually true, what am I saying? Um, not that relevant, they came in like the basic black Adidas box, nothing interesting. I got them in a size 10. They are basically made as one knit piece. They have like this little hard, I don't know how to describe it, covering on the sides. But the whole thing is one piece. There's no tongue separating anything. It's one huge like mesh. I think it's prime knit. I could be so wrong. Prime knit all the way through and then has the suede on the front and the suede on the back and then has the pull tab that says the brand of three stripes. I know the other versions have it in different languages or at least in some sort of language. I'll leave a picture of what I mean. You'll see what I mean. And um, yeah, okay, so for sizing, I got them in a size 10. I'm normally a size 11 in a lot of shoes or a 10 and a half, but these run big. For females at least, female sizes, this color actually only comes in females. I got them in a size 10, just because like when I first bought them I was kind of panicking because they're selling that really fast. So I just got a size 10. I was scared they wouldn't fit because normally size 10 doesn't fit because it's always too small. But these, the size 10 is like slightly, I wouldn't say too big, but it's not like snug like a running shoe should be when you first put it on. It's not falling off or anything, but it's slightly still too big. A nine and a half probably would have been best case scenario. So if you're gonna purchase these female sizes, make sure to go down at least one size. That was a common thing a lot of people are saying with them. At least go down one size or half a size just to be safe because they're run big so it's better off you get them like slightly too small than slightly too big because like running shoes stretch a bit and you'd rather not be running and have these like fly off your feet so i bought these off urban outfitters two weeks ago last week something like that i bought them off urban outfitters basically i had the adidas alerts on on twitter and then i got a notification saying urban outfitters had them and then when i opened the website it said the american urban outfitters so i'm like oh that sucks like because these sold out on the Adidas website like super fast, this color and everything. So then I went to the Canadian Urban Outfitters and it was there and they were on for $179 Canadian, which is actually less than the Adidas website. The Adidas website originally listed them at $200 without tax, without shipping, without anything else. I got else. these under retail. They were $179 listed on the Urban Outfitters website, which is $20 less than the retail price before taxes and everything like that. But then I also had a 10% off code for Urban Outfitters, not sponsored anything, I'm just saying. I literally like made an email just so I could get the 10% off on my purchase. <laughs> like I scammed them. But then I got 10% off, so I got them for $161 before tax, which is really good because that's $40, $40-39 underneath retail which is amazing, so I was super happy. They sold out within pretty much six hours and they showed out to me within like a week and a half. They're not on the website anymore. It was a really random release. It's not really scheduled or anything. I don't know if they're gonna come back, so I can't really advise you on where to get them. I know places like N Clothing and some other UK sneaker websites might have them for over retail. This color, not sure. I've seen the white ones on nclothing.com for I think 229 Canadian before shipping, which is a lot more, so that's something. But yeah, so 
I paid that much and the sizing runs big so either get a size down or half a size down. Next thing, okay for comfortability which is what most people care about of course you want your shoes to be comfortable when you're wearing them, running in them, doing whatever you need to do in them and that's kind of like the biggest deal breaker because if shoes are uncomfortable what's the purpose of buying them? These, um, they're pretty comfortable. They don't actually have like, I don't know how to describe it, like they don't actually have the removable sole inside of them. It just has the boost material going through the entire bottom and your foot just basically sits directly on that. Like if I could show you, I'll start a picture or something, you can see the stitching right on. So you're just sitting on top of that boost material and the boost material is amazing. It is so comfortable. The boost material is so comfortable. Like it's like walking on a cloud, like your feet are just bouncing all the time. It doesn't even feel like you're wearing shoes. Honestly, you genuinely feel like you're wearing socks. Um, I have flat foot, like really, really flat feet. So if you have flat foot, you might feel it a little bit because it's kind of just like a flat surface, literally. It does compensate a bit with the like the boost and kind of like Tempur-Pedic bounce kind of feeling. So you won't feel it as much, but you might feel it after a long periods of wearing this. If you have flat foot, if you don't, that doesn't affect you. And then it has a tongue on here. Not a tongue, but like a mimic tongue, I guess. So this kind of does hit your ankles. If you're not a fan of that, which uh, I'm not like it. I don't really like it. It bothers me. Maybe it won't bother you, but when you're wearing them, it does hit your ankles quite often, which can become kind of annoying and kind of rub on your skin. You can just wear longer socks or something to try to fix it or just flip it over. But of course, like that does not look like that good if you flip it like this and it doesn't want to stay. Of course it doesn't. But that's one thing. Getting them on is like super easy. Literally, like you stick your foot in, hold the top, hold the pull tab, and slide your foot in and they're easy to get off too. But for comfortability, they're fairly comfortable. They're not supposed to be running shoes. I mean, they're marketed as running shoes, but they're more casual fashion shoes. I'm wearing them for running because I don't care and I'm not gonna buy $200 shoes and only walk around in them or something because that to me is not worth the money. So I've been wearing them to the gym and I like them so far. I think they have like really flexible within the toes, which is good for the gym and stuff like that. Um, overall flexibility nothing really beyond the toes, which that's pretty much what they place need it. They breathe fairly well and they don't smell like ass yet. And like, I like using them at the gym. Running, this thing may bother your ankles, so I don't know about running in them. I would stick to like, just gym stuff where you're like lifting weights and you just need to like bend your toes or something like that. Don't run to them in them too much. You probably wouldn't be that comfortable anyways. You should just get like good running shoes. These ones do look similar to the original NMDs. Um, I just, I don't know what their like full name is. This literally is like sneakers for dummies. Like really, it's what it is. But they look kind of like the similar with the original NMDs. I'll start a picture, but they don't have that front block. They just have the back block. And like, this kind of little design up here, nothing really up at the front. And I think on the other ones, some of them say Adidas on the back block. It kind of depends on which one you get. And they also look longer, in my opinion. On your feet, they do look really big because this back part is like, you can even see from the front, it's like really big and like, I mean, it looks bulky, but they're really light. It literally feels like you're not, you're wearing socks. Like they're so light. Let's say your feet doesn't feel like heavy or anything. You might step on your foot, possibly, because you're not used to being big, which I did for a little while, but I'm kind of used to not stepping on my foot. But um, yeah, I guess this is kind of like my first impression, initial impressions of it. This of course isn't that informative, I'm just giving like basics. If you want to read more on these shoes specifically, I'll leave a link in the description to like an actual page where you can read more about the shoes and actual articles. I just wanted to give like my take on them. But overall, I really love them. They're super comfortable. I think this pink color is really nice. It comes in a white, a blue, and a green. The green one has an orange tab, the blue one has a blue tab, and the white one has a gray tab. I think I'm missing a color, white, blue, green. Oh, and also comes in black and the black one has a black tab. And they all have this camel pattern, but of course it varies based on like the backing color. They're not all gonna be pink polka dot. <laughs> what? It's not all gonna be pink polka dots. I like them. I think they're really comfy and they look really good with a lot of things, the pink color. They go with pretty much anything you want to wear them with. And yeah, that's all I really have to say about them. They are great shoes if you can get them, buy them, they're worth the money. If you can't get them, find someone to sell them to you or get the other colors. That's my opinion. 
So that is all I have for you guys in my video today about the NMD XR1s. If this is your first time watching my channel, hey, what's up? I'm Queen DeBay, and you can call me Debbie. Um, feel free to subscribe or check out my other videos. I upload as often as I can, which doesn't happen to be like kind of varies. Either it's like four times a week or like once every two months. So I guess you'll find out if you subscribe, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want me to do more sneaker type things, which you probably don't, because I don't know how to explain anything. I guess it's sneakers for dummies, like I said. So if you want to do like another sneakers for dummies, make it a whole series, let me know. I'm talking really fast. I do have some other shoes I bought like a year ago that I could talk about. <laughs> or every time I buy new shoes, I'll just talk about them. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm talking too much and I'll see you in my next video. Keep smiling, shining, and remember you don't need a crown to be royalty. Bye. Okay, so the exposure in the video is completely off the entire time. I just included a clip of me showing you the shoes. I'm really sorry about that, but I didn't think there's that much of a reason to refilm. You guys just saw what they look like and just focus on like watching the video itself and what I'm saying. So, um, yeah, sorry about that, but I fixed it at least. that